Hi, I'm Heather Cole with Lodestar Solutions, and today's video, we're going to talk about cleaning up your Cognos content store. Now, many of you have used Cognos BI for years, some of you even decades. But what you might not realize is over time, your content store just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And what happens is it can degrade your performance. So today we're going to show you some tips and tricks on how to clean up that content store. Your content store is really important because if it gets too big, it can impact your performance and even the stability of your Cognos system. Now, many of you are watching the videos in this library about upgrading to Cognos Analytics, the latest version of Cognos BI. And you've come to us and said, you know, we're already having performance issues in our 10 version. We want to make sure we don't have those same issues when we move to Cognos Analytics. And I can say, if you don't clean up your content store, there's a good chance that you might still have some problems. So we're going to address that. And it can also cause issues with your upgrades. So we're going to show you how to clean up that content store. Now, first, let's talk about what's in the content store. There's report specifications, external namespaces, published models, scheduling, packages, bursting, report outputs, and data source connections, all in your content store. And over time, what happens is we keep adding more and more of this, and it gets bigger and bigger. And if we don't watch out, it could kind of impact your Cognos deployment and making sure that end users are having a good experience. So how did it get so big? Well, first, over the years, IBM has moved to more of a self-service model. We all want our business users to be able to analyze data, interact with it. Instead of just getting a run report, they actually want to be part of the data and incorporate that into what they're trying to decide on. And as we do that, we've given them the ability to create their own reports over the years. When IBM changed the licensing model a few years ago and gave almost everybody the capability to create reports, it was a big stride for everyone to be able to get to self-service. But what we didn't realize is that the more you let end users play and create their own reports, the more they're probably saving in their my folders. And if you're like me, you start to create something and the mom calls and you get distracted and you can't remember where you are. So you just kind of do a file save as like you save a copy of that and then you have another version and another version and another version and before you know it you have a very bloated content store we also have a lot of one-time reports that we never deleted and imagine this for every one of your end users that's how your content store got so big so it's time to clean the clutter. I use the analogy of your content store is kind of like your garage. Now, how many of you are going to admit that your garage is a little cluttered? You know, I live in Florida most of the year and down there, we have a little tiny one car garage and it's really a tool shed, I think, because there's no way I'm getting a car in there. And for many of you, that's like your content store, right? There, it, there's not a lot of extra room for more stuff. And so it's time to do a little, little cleaning up. We'll call it fall cleaning because this video is being recorded in the fall. Now, a couple of tricks to doing. First, you got to turn on Cognos auditing. If it's not on now, go ahead. Let's turn that on. We'll give you a couple slides on that as well. You want to do consistency checks. We want to look at saved report outputs. We want to delete unused exports from the content administration. We want to consider a content archival system. And we're also going to talk a little bit about some Modio tools. If you're not familiar with Modio, we do have another video on them as well. But they have some fabulous tools that can help you from getting content store bloat. Uh, and they can help you make sure that that's streamlined even after you upgrade. So let's focus first on what does Cognos Auditing track. So you can turn on Cognos Auditing and what it tracks is the system and service starts and shutdowns, runtime errors. It will look at account uh, management by user and runtime usage. All the user requests, you can see what they're running, what reports are getting run, service requests and responses. Um, so this really gives you a lot of great information. And with the latest version, they do have some audit sample reports 
and a package that is included as part of the installation if you're on at least 11.0.1 or higher. So you want to make sure you turn those on and get some visibility into what people are using so that maybe you can get rid of the stuff that nobody's ever touching. I recommend if it's not on today, go right away, go turn on auditing and it will give you that output audit usage information to a relational database and it's going to give you that audit information. There is a YouTube video, so I'll put the link to the YouTube video on how to turn this on in the comments of this YouTube video. So IBM created a YouTube video on it. We're going to give you the link to that so you can find it easily and go turn that on. Another thing that you're going to want to do is consistency checks. Now what this does is it identifies what we call orphaned my folder content where users no longer has access. So how this works is you have a user, they were here a couple of years ago and they left the company and they had all this great content in their my folders. And when you remove them, let's say from active directory, it made it so they could not get to Cognos anymore, but their content, didn't leave their my folders still hanging out there. It's orphan. Nobody can get at it maybe. And so there's a couple ways that we can look at it. You can run a content consistency check through the content administration to fix and find all the inconsistencies with the content store or between the content store and external namespaces. So if you look at the screenshot here, you can see you can go to content administration and, and go to that consistency check area. You want to look at the saved report outputs that are stored to the content store database. You only want to keep the minimum number of versions that you can to still meet your user requirements. So if you have 20 of the same report, you probably have too many versions of that. You can modify the report output version settings in the report properties so that you don't have 20 versions. Maybe you only have five versions of the report output. You can also remove the output versions for a report in the public folder, or my folder, using the content removal option that's in the content administration. So that might be a fast way that you get rid of a lot of junk that's sitting in your content store. The next thing we recommend that you do is to delete any used exports from the content administration. What Cognos basically does is it creates kind of a copy of it or entries of it to facilitate faster execution of exports. So if you do the export regularly, it can do it and render it faster. But maybe you don't use that anymore. Maybe that was a one-time export. So you can delete the entry of that from the content administration portal. It will not delete the entries from the Cognos installation deployment folder, but you can clean it up there and that will kind of make it so your content store is not quite as large. You'll also want to consider how you are archiving your content. Storing archived content to an external repository provides you with the ability to adhere to regulatory compliance and requirements. So you don't have to store everything in the content store. I think for many of you, when it was installed, it was just kind of taking the default and that's where it put it, but know that you can use external repositories for that. It can enhance the scalability and performance of your Cognos products by decreasing that content store. So if you're archiving stuff outside of it, gonna make it so it's less cluttered. Cognos natively supports fully integrated archiving to a file system for content re retention and audit requirements. So that's already kind of built in. And the IBM Cognos content archival allows you to store report output versions and their source report specs to the external repository. For more information on that, you can get the IBM Cognos Administration and Security Guide. If for some reason you don't have that guide, I, I know that a lot of people are like, ooh, I just wish I had a manual or at least a PDF copy of the manual. You can get those online. You could probably just Google IBM Cognos Administration Security Guide and get a copy of it for the version that you're running or you're looking to run. I would be remiss if I did not share with you about the Modio functionality. So Modio is a third party partner of both Lodestar and IBM, and they have a fabulous tools that help you kind of clean up for any Cognos administrators. This is just a joy to work with because it can 
streamline a lot of things that you might be doing manually. And they have a component called Modio Report Card. Report Card is going to assess your reports in the environment, locate any issues that cause a decline in performance. So if you're having performance issues in 10.2 and you're looking to upgrade to Cognos Analytics, this might be a good tool to not only help clean it up now, but, but in the future, make sure nothing happens, especially for those of you that have very large deployments. And it presents the results of how much performance can be improved by fixing a particular issue. So it's going to get you some idea on, on whether that's advisable or not. Report Card also provides load stress testing. So it will simulate the number of users and their Cognos activity. You can use different variables to determine how much stress your Cognos environment can handle. And Report Card has a filtering option that allows you a great deal of flexibility on exactly what you want to look for or measure. Uh, by seeing which reports took the longest time to run, you can dive deeper and pinpoint the reason and then fix that issue. So load and stress testing, really important for some of you that have very large deployments, or you just need to make sure your end users are really happy. There's also continuous system monitoring and this proactively runs in the background the features allow you to capture and later reference where something may have gone wrong a system administration can get immediate notification when a sent uh, an event happens like cpu memory is outside the norm so if you might be suffering from some leaks or something this gives you the advantage of getting to the problem as soon as it happens and then they also have some uh, reports that can discover defects and problems in the reports that are affecting their performances and apply the ways to improve them. So just consider if you're especially running one of the bigger deployments or if you just want to make sure you have a really strong system that's not going to go down on you, consider looking at the report card. Modio also has a component called PI. Now, a lot of you are familiar with this because you got the free version of this. And I think this is a great little product because it can query your content store. You can change ownership. So when Bob leaves the organization, he has built all these great reports that are in his my folders or in the public folders. You can change ownership and give that to whoever replaced Bob. And you can see the stored Cognos output sizes, query and analyze who, what, when, and where it was run. It can also inspect a user's My Folder content and the storage capacity from their perspective. And what I also love is recover lost or deleted framework models. Have you ever like deleted something and just had that, oh shit feeling, right? So this can help you recover it and really not have to fess up to everyone that you did it. I want to take a second and just look at the Modio product mix. Now this is, I'm just going to jump to their website and we can kind of see and compare. You can go out there as well and go look at the latest and greatest, but I'm going to take you there now. So here I am on the Modio website and we can see that Modio PI and Modio PI Professional are both listed here. And this is where you can go see the extra functionality that you have. So down here at the bottom, is what on the left hand side, the first column of check marks is what the PI, which is the free version can get you. If you don't have this, go get it now. What are you waiting for? But please let them know that Lodestar Solutions sent you. And then what we can see here is we can see what extra bells and whistles that we get with PI Pro. So you can go there as well. Just go to the Modio website, look for product features and a comparison of the PI and the PI Pro. Another thing, and I think maybe the most important part that you can do to help minimize your content store bloat, as I'll call it, is to train your end users in some best practices and teaching them what they should keep and how many versions they should keep and explaining to them why. A lot of us just think we have unlimited space and it's not a big deal. And so what if I've you know, 5,000 copies of it. But if you teach them why and that will help performance for everyone, they will follow the policies. So I recommend that you create some just in your end user training and 
If you're deploying a new user interface, what a great time to also deploy some new best practices in report retention. So consider training your end users on your policies to help minimize the content store bloat in the future. So that's some tips on how to make sure your content store is not massive and clean it up, clear up the clutter. I wanna challenge you to all go out today and start taking some of these steps, turn on auditing, go get yourself a copy of Modio PI and the free version and let's talk. So please, as you're planning your upgrade and figuring out how you wanna design this and roll this out to end users, Give us a shout at Lodestar Solutions. You can reach me personally at sales at lodestarsolutions.com or Mike Bernage heads up our services team. You can reach him at services at lodestarsolutions.com and we look forward to working with you. And please add some comments to this. If you have some ideas to share with everybody, add them into the comments of this YouTube. I'll also add a couple of links to other places and have a great day. Hey, it's Heather with Lodestar. I hope you really enjoyed that video and found it useful. We have more videos and we're going to continuously add even more videos to this library. But for you to know about the new videos, you need to join our mailing list. So please join our mailing list today so we can inform you. And we'd also like your comments on this video. Just go ahead and add them here in YouTube. And also send us an email and let us know what you're struggling with so we can add more value to your upgrade.